With a pure heart and two good friends, visit the fiery balcony in Capella Magna. So there's a lot to process here, actually. I've never used this map before, and I've never used this character before. Are those things disappearing? Uh, mean that I can't evolve Clockland at Laurel? Well, that's a shame, because why is there an Orange Reaper? And why is it turned into the all-seeing eye? And the enemies change, too. Actually, this background is oddly reminiscent of that hallway I went down to unlock the yellow sign. Interesting. Well, this character started with Laurel, so I had to have one extra weapon. And what's most interesting is the weird mystery of the secret. With a pure heart and two friends? Reach the burning balcony? I've never been to the flaming balcony or whatever it's called. I'm excited to check it out. Maybe it's on the map. It's probably that question mark on the bottom. Pure heart to me, my best guess anyways, is probably like Pomerola or Hollow Heart. You know, because they're both upgrades that look like a heart. And two friends could be the two guns. It's like, say hello to my little friends. Or the two birds for that matter, because they're the weapons that evolve in a duo. I guess it's actually nice that I have the white birds. So I'm going to take all six of those things I mentioned and reach the balcony and see if that helps at all. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if I should evolve them or not either. That would... Uh, I'm gonna say not evolved, but frankly, I might even be completely off the, um, uh, off the track. I have no idea whether or not this is right. This does mean I can't take stuff like Rune Tracer. A duplicator is already on the map. I will take Spinach. Also, let me just say this music is absolutely bumping. Probably one of the best tracks so far. And this game has had some good music. I am absolutely loving this. What's sad though about this map is that there's no option to do hyper mode, probably because I've never played it before. I mean, this is map five. I unlocked it when I did something on the, the coffin on the fourth map. Oh crap, are wings on the map? I actually think I will take wings. Are they on the map? Okay, they're not. I'm glad I took them then. I'm actually going to focus on going up. I'll kill that big seeing eye eventually. Right now, I must go up and just explore as to what could be more of the map. It's just a very fat hallway. These appear to be stairs. What is this? A bunch of coffins and a piano. Oddly reminiscent of other artifacts seen around the map. Also, there seems to be one type of enemy, even though I'm two minutes in. This looks like it could be an elite. Nope, that's just the one that drops a green gem. Well, thank you for the green gem, good sir. I will keep going up. And it's a shame I won't get evolved clock land set, because it's going to probably be a pain to deal with that enemy. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, well, I'll keep going whip. I do like a good challenge. I'm happy Laurel is back to help me probably regen. It's just I can't constantly stay below these enemies. Let's see if I can look for better. Some damage. Duplicator is already on the map. I suppose I could take Spellbinder because that buffs the bird. Although my bird isn't really doing that much damage right now. I wish I was going down and not up, but I will go up regardless. What comes at three minutes, huh? What say you? They are... They kind of look like Demario. It's like a cursed version of a character. Am I getting close to Duplicator? Duplicator's on the bottom, you dumb bitch. Well, fine. I guess I'm making my way to the top. I am going to grind up for extra items because I'm a greedy scum, and I like being a greedy scum. I also am very much struggling, so uh, this is barely greed. It's survival. I love the look of this guy, though. He's basically the Pope with a whip. Rodeo Pope. Just coming around, whipping the hell out of these demons. Honestly, great character. But there was another character I unlocked with this guy. I think it's called Gallo. And basically, one character was unlocked when I evolved Clock Lancet. The other was unlocked when I evolved Laurel. This was probably the Laurel one, since he starts with Laurel. And getting either of those to either a win or something else lets me unlock the bracelet, which is something I don't know what it is. It was just something I saw in unlock. So I'm excited to see whatever that is. Anyways, I can, I can tank a bit. These enemies don't scare me. Right now, I want to go Spinach. That's a better bump in damage, and I need that bump in damage. I also feel good about running into these enemies right now. I feel okay because I have five armor. They barely hurt me. And I think this guy's quirk was that he gains armor over time, which I do like. I think he has a max of plus five armor gained. Look for more damage. He's shown will do. Why have I not seen either of the guns or the blackbird? And if I had to pick one of these, it said friends, so I guess birds would make a little bit more sense. Although the, you know, the birds are friendlier than guns, but they, the guns are kind of friends in a way. They shoot together, they're in harmony. It's cute, actually. I shift them. Now I will go to Rona's box. It's the eyeball. 
and it dropped the chest. Wonderful. Let's see what you have in store for me. Just a regular Laurel upgrade. Okay, that's fine. Back to the good music. All right, can I get an chicken? Just one. No, that's okay. The cock will wait. Hey, it's a blue gun. Perfect. A little progress. That's a big bat. Reminiscent of the Mad Forest. This feels bigger than the ones in the Mad Forest. Probably because it's elite. Oh, it's the Blue Reaper. Well, I definitely am not going down now. I do hurt if I go in there, right? Yeah, yeah, I do hurt. I figured I had HP to spare. You know what? There's not many enemies here. I'm just going to run up. I've made it to the area of the items. They're set up in a pair. Interesting. Not the fruits, but the couple. I think I've made that joke before. Anyway, I'm obviously going to wait until I have two more items. One of them should be Empty Tome. The other one could be... I mean, Bracer is a good one. Yeah, actually, Bracer is synergized with both the evolved forms of the pairs. And actually, I'm going to just make my way over to that box. What do you got for me? Wings. Cool. I can outrun more goons. Ooh, a vacuum. <laughs> Maybe I could just get more armor. You know what? Since I already have a ridiculous amount of armor, how about I just take more? Become a super tanky dude. Now I'm looking for just empty tome. I killed it. What did that do? Is there something on the map that's changed? No, same as it ever was. It didn't even drop a box? You absolute asshole. How dare you? Trying to find birds. Didn't get it. I guess I'll take them. Whip. Increase my damage. Another eyeball. Giant black bats. Wait, what's this? It looks like it's section off. It looks like I could go down there, but there was no room. My character is simply too fat to fit through. Let me make sure. Yeah, maybe I can come in from the bottom, but somehow I doubt it. Maybe it's part of the, the balcony. If I can access it from the bottom, maybe I can access all balconies. Anyways, enemies are building up in a way they haven't before. What was that weird explosion? Oh, that's just Pichon. Anyway, because I have armor, I actually deal retaliatory damage. So part of me just wants to ram into enemies and murder them that way. Actually, that could be interesting. Because armor can deal damage back. I wonder if I can win a run without taking any weapons and just dealing damage back with armor. And just building up extreme armor with this character. That'd be kind of fun. Hey, Ebony Wings. Love to see it. And ooh, it's a triple. Love to see it. Unfortunately, more upgrades of armor does not increase retaliatory damage, so it's probably really low, only dealing 10 damage at a time. But still, it'd be interesting. Like, I just have incredible health regen, incredible armor. Maybe clock lancet? No, because retaliatory implies the enemy dealt damage to me first. So I would yeah, need Pomerola, insane max HP. Maybe Spinish buffs the damage from armor. It's tough to say. It looks like I'm dealing some low damage, like... You know, stuff between 7 and 11, that's probably the armor damage. I feel like, well, the enemies must have armor of their own. So that's probably being taken into account. Anyways, I still need Red Gun and Empty Tome. When's it going to give it to me? Okay, maybe this box will have my hopes and dreams. Oh, baby, a triple. That's pretty good. Oh, a vacuum. Hey, maybe I can get some sweet, sweet levels. It's the Green Reaper. I got no levels, but I can actually damage him, so... Let's destroy this green rape. There's also another elite that showed up. Slightly bigger stone winged enemy. Tough to say exactly. I'm too much of a pussy to ram into it. So I'm just going to eat my chicken and sit and try to kill it. Ooh, a box. A shiny box. Hey, another triple. Yo, what a good run. Do I have advanced luck on this character? Plus 60%. I don't remember if that's above average or not. Oh, this looks like it's a good farming minute. Bunch of enemies just spawned in. Um, yeah, they, they keep coming. Good, good, good. And they're not doing too much damage to me. Actually, it's not true. Some of them do hit pretty hard. So, mine really overwhelmed. Hey, got an arcana chest in the blue reaper. Two reapers at the same time. Don't mind if I do. First, what do I get here? Some weapons explode. Could be good. Reroll, skip, and banish. Could be okay. Let's see the weapons get plus one amount. I don't want plus three amount on my laurel. Meh. Give me some more reroll skips and banishes. Maybe I can actually find the stuff I want. Uh, the Blue Reaper's forcing me up. No, 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 no. How dare you? That is unbelievably rude. Now I can't get the Green Reaper because he's in the bubbles. Damn it. Now I'm above the items I want. I will return one day. Okay, the Green Reaper's back at least. And all the enemies are in the bubbles. It's actually kind of hard to kill them. Well, this is my life now. Just constantly going up. Also, my dumbass... Didn't pick up Hollow Heart. 
or Pomerola. I just forgot about that. Well, fuck. Which heart do I think is more pure? Howl Heart or Pomerola? Is one on the map? Nope. Um, Pomerola is red. I would say a red heart part is more pure than a black heart. No, the chest is in there. I must have it. Oh, and it was worth it. It was a jackpot, baby. Bunch of armor. Bunch of black bird. Okay, maybe it's hollow heart. It's not pure, though. It's very much hollow. Fuck it, though. It also evolves my whip. You know, it was one of the two possibilities. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'll just try a different run with Pomerola, and all will be good. The bad news is I really want to get my extra items, but I can't do that because the Blue Reaper is an asshole. Holy shit, that's a lot of sword dudes. Okay. Wow. Uh, thankfully, I can shred them right now, but I can't pick up the gems because of the Blue Reaper. Actual douchebaggery right there, though. What the hell? I right, bring back the birds so I can start shredding again. Those were actually kicking ass against those guys. Wait, it's gone? No, it's not gone. It's here forever. Oh, I finally got red gun. All right, so no empty tome today. Actually, yeah, it's kind of crazy how this turned out. Dude, I haven't killed anything in a long time. This is bad. Let's go Pichon. Maybe this can do some solid damage? Like the fact that I don't... Okay, there we go. Finally, some good kills. Maybe I can get some good XP from it, too. At least some giant-ass enemies. Great. Maybe some extra gun damage? Oh, this is terrible. Fuck this Blue Reaper, man. It's the ultimate cuck. I, I, I can only kill him with certain stuff, but it's, it's freaking impossible. The wall gets in the way, even. I mean, good thing I have this trillion armor, because that's the one to keeping me in this game, but what the fuck? I'm never going to level up at this rate. I'm level 35. Gems. Wait, are they evil? They're evil gems. What the fuck? No, there's a purple reaper. Please tell me at least the blue, the blue reaper is still here. There's three different reapers on this screen. What is this? And there's some big ass enemies. I could use some chicken right now. I mean, I'm still not really worried about dying because if I die, I get a revive, which gets me more armor, right? Among other things, which might just be a staff buff I need. Oh, damn you. Damn you, gems. Okay, I have Laurel, though. It's fine. Is It's the purple reaper summoning these. He's got incredible skills to summon evil gems. I would love to go down and maybe get a super gem of things I missed, but no. Oh, there's a chest. You know what? I'm going for it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Anything good here? There's another triple. I need this. And I... Okay, got bloody tear. I can heal with that. You know what? Do I out-heal the stuff now? Give me the Aether Sparrow. Maybe I can double back now. I think I can. I think I will just reside in the bubbles. Thank you, Bloody Tear. That's just what I needed. Oh, those explode. All right, so there's got to be a super red gem throughout all this. Surely there is. And because I am healing, I'm just going to keep going for more damage to get more XP. Nothing scares me now. Actually, at full HP, I'm dealing retaliatory damage to the bubbles. It's great. Okay, a huge swarm of enemies. Maybe for once I can actually level up a bit. Like, I'm just going to hang out in their midst and tank everything. What you gonna do to me, huh? Block my vision? That ain't shit. Actually will go wings. I've been unable to see before. This is nothing compared to what I've been through. You are nothing, you hear me? Nothing. You know what? I'm gonna pick up the spicy meatball. Maybe this will help. Tear through it all. Let's go for wings. More movement speed. I feel like I'll need it. Maybe turn this on the green and purple reapers if I can. Although I'm in kind of in the water with all the bubbles, so I don't know if the fire will do much. Give me some more might, projectile speed, duration, etc., etc. I would even take the curse upgrade, because I'm I'm at level 40, 18 minutes in. That is sad. You hear me? That's sad. Okay, at least I've made it to these things. I will take the crown and the tiragisu, and then just make my way over to the duplicator and the secret. There's so many bubbles! <laughs> Uh, let me just say, I am infinitely glad that I grabbed Howl Hearts, enabling me to actually g evolve my whip and be able to progress a little bit. Because if I didn't have that, I would just be sad. I should have paid attention, but on the minimap, there's some of these crosses. Oh, which can blow up some nice stuff and get me some boxes. I swear it sounded like it moaned for a second. That's a lot of demons. Good timing on that, I guess. Although I could use another. Although I mistakenly passed the others, at least I'm getting closer to Duplicator. 
I need more damage, damn it. I haven't killed anything in so long. For once, I want that to change. Alright, made it to Duplicator, at least. Praise be. More projectiles, finally. Maybe I can finally shred some enemies, get an evolution. I would kill for a second Duplicator upgrade. However, I actually am taking damage while in this swarm of enemies, so I will stay outside of it and just farm them from below. Hopefully heal this way, too. While kind of making my way down... Like, I think I'll start inching my way down. I got nine minutes to make it there. Hopefully there's not, like, another trial or something that takes me out of it. Although, I guess I also wouldn't mind that because this is one of the weakest builds I've ever had. I just have not evolved at all. But it doesn't matter because of my extreme armor. It's kind of funny. I just gotta be careful that I don't fly too close to the sun and take too much damage. Holy shit, I actually leveled. It feels like forever. Look for Duplicator. Found it. Uh, any more XP? There's actually a lot on the ground here. Maybe I could get a couple measly levels right now. Also, both the green and the purple reaper seem to be gone. Curious. I wonder why they left me so. I was enjoying their company. And only the blue reaper remains, but I think that's just forever away. Right, give me some more red guns. I don't want to accidentally evolve some of them. But I'll take this. Plus the weapons come with the counterpart. How does it work if I already have their counterpart? I have no idea how this works. Come with means one of two things. Three if you count come. Either when I get the weapon, I also get its counterpart, or when I already have the weapon, I get an additional counterpart? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter what it takes, so I'm gonna grab this just in case to see if- Oh, wait! This- does look look there's four birds there's four birds wait a second is that bad because i no longer have two friends i have four friends well i'm glad i took that holy crap yes i'm gonna keep going torona's box here now i'll just make my way south i got eight minutes left and it's still a good bit of distance to go and i'm kind of shredding now oh i found it yo give me that i will stay in here this is a coffin, though, so it's just going to unlock a character, and this is not a flaming balcony. First, I guess I'm upgrading. Sure, I'll take wings. Now I got a new character. I can skip through this because I know what it's... Well, I know it's going to be some character. Ooh, yay! Bella Pese. Okay, so now what? Well, I've unlocked this, right? So that means I can go straight up. Eh, not really. I don't know if I've unlocked in other areas. Is there something else on the map? It doesn't appear so. Awkward. How do I find the flaming balcony then? Love to see it. Bunch of upgrades. I feel like I've been due for it. This is a great farming minute. Once it ends though, I guess I'll investigate more of the map. I'm trying to be careful not to evolve any of my weapons though. Just in case I need to keep the friends. I'll keep going Torona's box as much as I can. Yeah, you know what? Bring on the curse. See if I care. Wait. This is a ton of XP. Wait, is this where all my damn XP went? This whole time? It might be. You son of a gun. It's been here this whole time! Okay. Well, there we go. Alright, well, I farmed enough, and now I've taken a good bit of damage, so I'm gonna have to heal that back. Balconies are on the top of buildings. Or on upper floors, so it would make sense to go up. I'm just kind of checking to see what the deal is with this area. No, it's infinitely repeating. I guess I'll go up then. Man. Oh, what the hell is this elite under me? I don't care. I'm going to blow everything up. Oh, I blew it all up, but the elite didn't die. This is a weird-looking elite. Kind of is like Medusa-like, but it's got weird spinny arms. Yeah, you're creepy. I'm gonna keep running up. Oh, saw a chest on the ground. It's gonna evolve my little friends. But at this point, I'm kind of losing hope. And maybe I just want to see what the four birds can do with evolved. Okay, or I got the guns. Damn shame I can't get multiple evolutions per a chest. Any other boxes I missed? No. Oh, I have more weapon slots, so forgot about that. You know what? I'll take the bone. Just because I don't see you often. Join me, bone. Oh, 
Well, I've leveled up my bow nicely. Okay, then. Oh, that's a lot of levels. Damn, I really have just left a ton of XP on the floor, huh? Oop, there is a chest somewhere around here. I see you. Look at the birds, huh? Let me see what these can do. Alright, so do I have a bird and a counterpart bird now? Yeah, I got a... I've actually got three birds still. I got the pea shown, and then I got a blue bird and a red bird. Interesting. It seems like it's absolutely owning, and I haven't even upgraded it that far yet. Well, I guess this is what the one's about now. You thought the birds were good before? Guess again. There's so many of them. Yeah, they are absolute menaces right now. So I got three friends, and then a bunch of laser friends with my gun. These are some scary demons. Scary, scary, demon scary. Well, at least they let me level up Vandalier more. And I think I'll have to have another attempt at the Flaming Balcony. At least I still get a lot of uh, cool things learned this episode, right? Like, I learn about the multiple birds, which are cool. Learn about this map, found a new character. Because I got this character to level 50, I'll get to find out what the bracelet is. So there's still lots of purpose. Anyways, I don't even know what I'm looking for now. Maybe Rune Tracer, since it evolves. Sure. I mean, Rune Tracer is one of my favorite weapons, so why not? Hey, broke level 100, got Rune Tracer up. Is there a box on the ground? There is not. I will stay here until the end of time. There is no chance of me ever finding that, <laughs> that um, Blue Reaper, huh? This is the longest he's been around. Maybe there's some sort of hidden achievement for just leaving him alive for the entirety of the game and staying in his bubbles. Oh, I'm actually taking damage for once. Oh, no. You hate to see it. There's not that many of these enemies, though, so they're relatively easy to avoid. But if I don't avoid them, I will be hurt. Even with my healing. Yeah, but I can pick up chicken, so I'm still mostly fine. I got 30 more seconds and a ton of revives. Unlikely that I'm gonna die. And there we go. A nice win. This is different. Oh! What on earth is happening here? You know what? Don't ask questions. Just collect XP. Level up a little. Oh. Maybe now I find the flaming balcony? Still not on the map. What is going on? Excuse my lack of exploration. I just have red gems to grab. No, it's the quintuple reapers. What is this? What the fuck? Is this a super reaper boss? He's got all five colors to him. And there's mini enemies showing up. Hold up. Whoa. Wait a second. The true reaper. Oh my god. Wait, this is sick. What's he doing? I don't know, but he can't hurt me because I have a trillion armor and uh, laurel. So eat shit, buddy. I will still try to hurt you. You de-evolved. Wait. Wait, actually, my guns are weirdly evolved and not evolved at the same time. Kind of the same with the birds? Is this the flaming balcony? There's like a whole spiral below me. What is going on? Well, they can't hurt me much. Yeah, I'm just going to keep attacking him until he's dead. I am basically taking no damage, so bring on the pain. I turned off damage numbers earlier. I am hurting him. It's good to know. He's got a bunch of other things popping up, but it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hopefully he dies soon. Hopefully this doesn't take long. <gasps> no! Ah! Did I get him? What? Maybe? The Great Gospel permanently allows to level up weapons beyond their limit can be enabled in stage selection. What the hell? Well, I didn't see that coming. Uh, this was totally worth it, even though I didn't find the flaming balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring on the silver reaper, whatever. Come to me. Well, this was incredibly fun. I got six whole unlocks. Wow. Oh, defeating the final enemy. Nice. And the bracelet. Well, I will figure out what all this means next time. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This game just keeps on giving. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.